I don't remember any time that Stephanie wasn't positive about her approach to other people and to a task of any sort. Her ability to handle lots of different things, her attention to detail, her cool, calm leadership and communication was really critical toward leading us to the time when everything was brand new to maturing our operations and systems on the space station to the point they are today. After her bachelor's degree at Harvard, she worked for two years at Martin Marietta Aerospace in Denver. When she indicated that she'd like to go to graduate school, they said, well, we suggest you go to University of Texas at Austin and uh, work with Dr. Roy Craig. Just based on the role that UT has played in her life in terms of achieving her goal, you know, she's a, a UT fan. My first flight was with Stephanie in 2006. We launched on the 4th of July to begin the STS-121 mission. Stephanie and I were rookies together on this flight, first time flyers, and it's, uh, it's so emotional. You have a lifetime of, of dreaming and reaching and striving that go into this moment. Finally, you're here after applying, training, waiting, and working for years to get the opportunity. Finally, you're on the launch pad. One of her main jobs was to run the arm on both the space shuttle and the space station. So she was a, one of the, our main robotics operators. Uh, but she was also so helpful in other things. Stephanie was the perfect crewmate. I mean, through training, it, it was a lot of fun working with her. On orbit, though, she was awesome because she would get her work done and uh, she'd come down and say, hey, you know, can I give you guys a hand down here? It's like, absolutely. This was her first launch, and so I was really excited for her, and that was always her dream ever since she was a little kid. And for this to happen, I mean, to me, it's like it couldn't happen to, you know, a better person. And it wasn't very long after we got back to the ground before Stephanie was assigned to her next flight. She flew three shuttle flights for a total of uh, over 42 days in space. Each mission, even though you're basically going to the same destination, it's different just because of the different tasks, the different crew members that you have to work with, the different training. And so for her, that's always been an exciting um, trip for her, each one of them. We had a running joke during our entire assigned time and on orbit that Stephanie was the Longhorn that was assigned to help keep the Aggie under control. And then you will notice I'm wearing a, a Texas A&M Corps of Cadets t-shirt here. And Stephanie refused to take the picture until she got her, uh, her Longhorn hat to kind of offset the agginess. For her to be an African American and to be the second one in space, that's an awesome thing. And of course, with her being female, that just really adds the, the icing on the cake to represent women of color, what we can do, what we can achieve. I think Stephanie is receiving the Alumni Award because she has earned it. She is an outstanding representative for the school. She represents the school with integrity, with honor, and with excellence. And I am uh, really proud and, and excited to be part of uh, that celebration with her and her family and friends tonight. Hi. I'm Scott Kelly, commander of the International Space Station. My fellow astronaut and astronaut candidate classmate, Stephanie Wilson, is one of the recipients of this year's UT Distinguished Alumnus Awards. Stephanie and I joined NASA in 1996. After training with her, working with her, and flying with her in our T-38 aircraft, I came to know Stephanie as a hardworking individual. She feels very fortunate to be a veteran of three space flights, STS-121 in 2006, 120 in 2007, and 131 in 2010, where she primarily served as a robotic arm operator. She values the education that she received to allow her to work as an engineer and astronaut. In addition to her almost 20 years working at NASA Johnson Space Center over her career, she has worked as, a, as an engineer at Martin Marietta and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I am always impressed by Ste Stephanie's thoughtfulness, work ethic, and calm demeanor under pressure. She is very deserving of this award, 
Congratulations, Stephanie.